Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 6, 2020. This is my 46th episode about vector calculus and the classical electromagnetism. This is also my third episode about OpenGL graphic tutorial. In this episode, I will discuss scaling matrix and translation matrix. I will also discuss what is homogeneous coordinate system. In this episode, I will explain how to learn mathematics and computer programming efficiently. When you learn something in your mathematics, then put your learning into a good practice. For example, if you learned linear algebra, implement the matrix in C++ or Python all by yourself. While implementing your mathematical understanding into a computer program, you can catch lots of loopholes that you haven't thought previously, or even your textbook hasn't discussed. In this episode, please pay special attention to how I apply mathematics to computer programming and how computer programming helps me better understand the mathematics. Please note that I assume you have watched episode 43, 44, 45. If you watch the episode 44 and 45 and understand correctly, you understand one half of computer graphics. The other half is related to vector or projection. Please double click this link. If you haven't watched this video and episode 44, you may not be able to understand my current session. In episode 45, Scroll down, show more, in download source code section, double click it. Click this button, show in folder, unzip it, right click, rename, episode 46, OpenGL matrix, copy, paste it, to your working directory. Now start Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, Open, Project Solution, scroll down, select folder 46 OpenGL matrix, double click it, select the solution, click Open. Now press Ctrl F5. This is the state of our previous episode. Now close it. Expand the solution. Double click mygl widget.cpp. Scroll down. In the function paintgl, here I will disable this part. Ctrl K, Ctrl C, Ctrl F5. Our program runs successfully. Now close it. If you scroll down, scroll down. In this loop, we use manual transformation. This is our manual transformation using CPU. If we want to take full advantage of OpenGL, we have to use GPU for such transformation. Now I will copy Ctrl K, Ctrl C, paste. Instead, here PT X, PT Y, and I will disable these. Now press Ctrl F5. It does not work. Now close it. This transformation can be extended like this. 
zero times p t y plus zero times p t z plus t x. This part zero can be represented as x, s y one. These are scaling factors. T x, T y. These are translation factors. We can ignore this part. So in matrix format, we can use scaling matrix equals S x zero 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 S y zero zero zero. One. This S is a scaling matrix representing this part. Now translation matrix T one zero T X zero one T Y zero zero one zero. Please understand that we derived these equations. In our previous episode, episode forty-four, using our mathematical reasoning, then we expanded this system of equations to this format. From this format, we formed the matrix four by four matrix. From this four by four matrix, we sorted out scaling matrix. And the translation matrix. Using our mathematical reasoning, we created two matrix. Now I will copy this part. Copy, scroll up, right before GL begin, paste. Then here, GL scale F S X S Y. 1.0 f. We specified scaling matrix. It should be S T F S T F. Now we specified translation matrix. G L translate F S T F T X S T F T Y 0.0 f. This is matrix. S scaling matrix. This is matrix T translation matrix. We have to initialize identity matrix. Load identity matrix. Press Ctrl F5. It still does not work. Why it does not work? If I examine, we specified matrix S scaling matrix. So S cross T T is translation matrix. It should be this matrix. This matrix represent this transformation, but this matrix is not equal to. T cross S because neither T nor S is identity matrix. The correct answer is T cross S should be this matrix. The correct transformation matrix. So. We have to change, cut, paste the order. Now press Ctrl F5. It should work successfully. This is correct result. In this episode, I applied my mathematics to implement 2D graphics. And I found out that I have to apply translation matrix prior to scaling matrix. If I 
haven't programmed to the matrix, I will never know that I have to apply translation prior to scaling. So computer programming helped me with my mathematics.